of the annual tradition involves us checking with the Maryland delegation to see what they'd like to hear from the president. And no one better to find that out than 11 News reporter Deborah Weiner. She joins us in the studio with that part of the story. Deborah. Donna, for some, the State of the Union is just really good theater, but it's always a night with a lot of the line for both parties. So, what does our delegation want to hear? We start with Maryland's senior senator. We want to hear how the president will want to engage with the world. We always want to live in a safe and secure world. But right now, what I hear from Maryland families is, Barb, we need more time and we need more money. More money and middle class economics. You will hear that theme tonight from the president who will deliver his annual agenda pitch to a Congress controlled by the Republicans. The voters of Maryland. And with Maryland set to inaugurate a Republican governor tomorrow, the GOP feels it has the momentum. That the rumors are that the president's going to call for a third of a trillion dollars in new taxes and even more government spending. That's not the message that was delivered either in Maryland by the voters or nationally. Maryland senators say more than ever there will need to be more partnership and less Partisanship. I uh, want to see the president provide that leadership in the State of the Union address, and I want to see us in Congress work across party line to get things done to create more jobs and better jobs for the people of this country. Perhaps no one will view tonight's address with the same emotion as Maryland's Alan Gross, held in Cuba for five years, and now free to witness the pomp and politics that define the State of the Union. Working with President Obama, we've been able to get Alan Gross out of Cuba, and he'll be in Michelle Obama's box. And I'll tell you, I'm going to bring an extra box of Kleenex on that one. So my money is on the president declaring the State of the Union is strong. He has used different versions of the word strong, from emerge stronger to getting stronger every year in this address. We asked the delegation how they would sum up the State of the Union, and we'll get the reaction live in the studio. Deborah Wiener, WBAL-TV 11 News. Deborah, thank you.